It is early evening, May 17th from Florida. We are watching another Falcon SpaceX launch. This is Starlink Group 6-59, and this is a record-breaking 21st launch for this particular booster. There were clouds in the east. I wasn't sure how much would be visible or not. I almost didn't stay out to watch, but uh, ended up we were in a treat for tonight. You can see as it goes up through some of the cloud layers, Now this is heading on a southeasterly tra trajectory, which is what most of the Starlink launches do. We are coming up on Miko or main engine cutoff. This is a lot more visible than I was expecting because it has gotten up high enough that it is into the sunlight. You can see there the wider plume from the second stage. Well, you can also see the first stage dropping away. And you can now see the fairings having separated and falling back from the second stage. Now these are not usually visible. It's these particular conditions sometimes called a jellyfish because of its appearance. I have only seen a couple of these. You know, I've lived in Florida over 20 years now, and I come out to see these launches every chance I get, and they still amaze me. I'm about 50 kilometers west of Cape Canaveral, just standing in my front lawn. And if anything, it's even more impressive without the camera and the zoom. The fairings will drop into the ocean. The booster will land on one of their drone ships. And then the second stage will continue to burn for a while to go into, I, I think it goes into some sort of transfer orbit and then eventually into an orbit and releases the Starlink satellites that are on board. And all of this was with a moon overhead. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the view too, and I hope you'll come back for the next one.